ABC 17 News investigates why a city employee is on leave for what he says was for him just going to a city council meeting. My co-wanker, ABC 17's Lucas Geisler, uncovered emails and memos from city manager John Glasscock upset over some city workers speaking at a council meeting about pay. An attorney for one of those workers says what Glasscock did may be illegal. Right now, city budget officer Kyle Ryman isn't helping get the city budget ready for next fiscal year. He's at home on paid leave after city manager John Glasscock put him out indefinitely. A memo I got doesn't specify why, but Ryman's attorney, Andy Hurth, says it could be because Ryman went to a city council meeting. It appeared to us that he was retaliating against city employees for attending an open meeting of the, of the city council of the city in which they live. It stems back to the June 21st council meeting. IT employee Ryan Jarrett city spoke about problems with the city uh, ordinance dealing with pay when someone gets promoted. And so that's kind of at the heart of this too, is this is somebody in the city government saying, look, we're, we're losing people. Uh, we're losing good people here in the government because you're not paying what's necessary. You're hurting morale. Ryman was there to support uh, Jarrett, but Glasscock was not at the meeting. When Glasscock returned after the July 4th holiday, Ryman was suspended for what Hearth thinks was his support of Jarrett's speech. You know, government should be open. It should be accessible to the people. Uh, and we can't have government stepping in and punishing the people who are in a position to, you know, to watch the watchers. In fact, Glasscock wrote in a July 7th email that he would cut jobs from the future IT budget because of the speech. He says he felt workers had orchestrated the presentation to get that rule overturned while he was gone. Hearth says putting Ryman on leave for showing up to the meeting could violate state law protecting whistleblowers and the First Amendment's protection on freedom of assembly. Glasscock told me twice that he cannot comment on the situation since it's a personnel matter. You can read that letter Hearth sent on our website at abc17news.com.